Hello everybody, I'm Master Major Ball. Welcome back to Let's Play Metro Prime 3 Corruption. And so, in the last episode we got the Grapple Beam, and this is the fastest we've ever gotten the Grapple Beam in any Metroid game. I think this is the fastest you get in any Metroid game, so... It's like, once again, said it before, say it again, these games are way more action-oriented than any other game in the franchise. And it just gives you all the action-oriented stuff, like, a whole lot faster. It gives you, like, the most busted weapon in Metroid history, right off the bat. And, it Okay. Get away from me. I don't even need lock on to kill y'all. So. so, let's go ahead and... So, you see these things? Fuck them. We'll go ahead and rip them off. The grapple lasso is such a cool idea. I'm surprised that they didn't bring that idea back in other M. It was like, oh what, did Adam not authorize you to be able to use that? The stupid authorization mechanic, it's so stupid. <laughs> oh, those parts did rip off. I was expecting the red parts on that great to... Uh, cool, what a great great. My great great grandfather had a great that was greater than... Bleh. John Sean reference. Oh! <laughs> I have a question for you guys. Would you like to see me do some blind playing of Aquaman Be Oh, hi. So, I was at a, my, one of my local game stores earlier today, and I found a copy of Aquaman Battle for Atlantis. I'm not joking, and I'm uh, for GameCube. And I'm curious to see what you guys think. Would you like me to do a bit of playing of that game? So I've ha I have never played that game before. But now that I've seen it, I'm just like, yeah, I've... Now that I've seen it, I'm half tempted to buy it, just so I can record my reactions of me playing it. I know what the game is about, I know it, it sucks donkey dick, I know that much. Uh, what are you doing? I, I'm not pressing the button, I swear to I swear to god, I'm not pressing it. Also what shot me, oh hi, you're just gonna sneak up on me, that's... civil of you. These things look cooler than the other ones, but... They seem weaker. I mean, like, why? They have the spikes on them that it indicates that they're powerful. That they're way more powerful. Don't you know that's what that means? Alright, so I gotta go in here. Oh, that's why I got went up there. Oh, Shriek Bats. No! I didn't want to scan the ship! I wanted to scan the... Stupid Shriek Bat! It looked like flying squir lizard squirrels. I don't know if that means anything. Come on. Bam! Let's go in there. The enemy designs in this game are the weakest of the trilogy. There's still a lot of good ones. It's just they're not as cool in my... Like, that's just a me thing. Like, And plus, it's kind of at that thing where it's just like, yeah, this game kind of takes... follows the same notes as the other games. Wait, how, how do I kill you? Let's go ahead and see how do I kill you. Also, go ahead and show that off. Is that equipped to destabilize atomic? Okay, there we go. It just didn't work for some reason. Boom. Yeah, this game. It. This is like. Yeah, you know what you're getting into. Come on! Ah, come on! You can't let me break the rules just a little bit. Come on! And bam! There we go. Zappity zap zap. Okay. Satellite stuff. Satellite stuff. I'm not gonna say it. I wanted to say it, but I'm not gonna say it. You know what game I really want to play now, besides Sword and Shield? I really want to play Metro Prime 4. Where is it? <sighs> Alright, so. Well, this part is a lot smaller than I remember. Alright, so... 
Thorn Jungle, like... Like, oh, yeah, these areas are a lot smaller. But yeah, this game has, like, uh, several different areas that you can do. Oh, that way? We can't go that way, so you'll see why. The satellite data has revealed two distinct energy signatures. They must be supplying power to the sea shield. If these targets are eliminated, the shield will be removed. We are uploading the location of each energy signature in nearby landing sites. Hmm. Okay, game, I get it. That's the landing site, that's where you go. That's the landing site, that's where you go. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. These areas are about like 20. Okay, I was just kind of wrapping my head around what just happened there. Something decided to show up, and I didn't like it very much. Okay, uh, no. You need to fuck off into oblivion. There we go. Um. Now I gotta qu gotta try and search the memory banks. No, I'm not being sarcastic. I gotta try to remember where I'm supposed to go and remember what order I'm supposed to do things in. That's it. Watch down this icy road. Oh no, it's more of these things. Except they're exactly ex they're just the same thing. Except they're red. That means they're more dangerous. Don't you know? Okay. This almost this almost looks like a Kingdom Heart. Well, it will work as a Kingdom Hearts enemy. Like what? Oh, also another thing. Terry Bogard. This is probably gonna date the episode. It's, go it's no, it's going to date the episode. Uh, they're showing off some Terry Bogard stuff tomorrow for me, and I'm excited for that. Yeah, you know what? The game wants me to use hyper mode, so I'm gonna use that. There's a lot, in it, a lot of enemies in this game that can take a lot of hits. Like these stupid, these stupid motherfuckers. And the game sort of encourages you to use hyper mode a lot. So yeah, you're gonna want to take advantage of it whenever you can because it it deals a lot of damage. But you're mostly gonna, especially in the. Uh, Hyper mode difficulty of this game, which is like the hardest difficulty. You're gonna you're gonna be abusing the Everless left living shit out of hyper mode. So like, there's really nothing else we can do right now. So we're just gonna go ahead, and keep going on. This really is not much faster. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Oh come on, you don't recognize me. It's it's your master, Samus. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter the ship, and the dogs are just uh, gonna go on again. So, was anybody interested in having some fried chihuahua for breakfast one of your days? I don't know. I'm ready to get rid of these stupid dogs. But uh, the thing is, I live with my folks right now, and they're not my dogs, so I think it'll be very distressing. Do I want to go here first? No, I'm almost certain I want to go to the fiery air docks first. Because that's where you have to go first, basically. Also, look at those miniature planets that are just chained to the big planet. That's actually pretty sick, but what is the purpose of that? And then, yeah, get used to seeing this all the time. I mean, just get, just get used to it, because... Uh, uh, okay. Sorry, I'm really, really tired. Alright, and so, oh, there's an icy ship that looks a lot like our icy friend Rundus. I wonder what that means. It means he must be here. Go. Uh -huh. I, I, I can jump on top of this. I can jump on top of this. Go ahead and scan this. Phrygisian? Phrygisian, or I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah, that's basically what Rundus is supposed to be. Why isn't Rundus in Smash Bros? He needs to be in Smash Bros. Alright, so. Fuel gel. Like, I don't understand what this is. Like, but now this is where the atmosphere is uh, more atmospheric in this game. 
I guess. And also ignore that, that's not really important, it won't let you go in there. I'm not able to enter from this side. Exactly, see? I'm really, really, really sleepy. I have a conscious idea why. Oh, hey, how's it going, dude? You stay away from the alcohol? I mean, probably means you haven't. You're growing spikes on your back. Those are the side effects of alcohol. The weaponry those things have is really cool, but it takes them like an eternity to just be able to press a simple thing. Boop! I charge shot at you, come on. That's just be able to lock in place instead of having those flamethrowers go on for eternity. Alright. Oh, so we'll go ahead and lasso that off. That took me like three seconds to register what that was. I don't know, maybe I'm just going, maybe I'm just, maybe I actually am losing my mind, I have no idea. My controller is vibrating like crazy. So, where do I want to go? Oh, I know where I want to go. Straight into the jaws of this monstrosity. Like. It's like, look at that. Like, oh, nom nom. Let's go in here. I think there's an upgrade. Yes, there is. Swiggity swag. More missile expansions. Oh yeah, is any, anybody in the comments, are you getting sick of that yet? <laughs> I mean, you haven't... I haven't uploaded a single video since I've started re-uploading. Okay. Come on. No! You failed me, bugs. Give it to me. It looks like, it looks like glowing popcorn is stuck to my ball. Like, that That would be hilarious if there was glow-in-the-dark. Whoa. I did not do that. I ain't do that. Okay, let's go ahead. Do that. None of this is important to scan, by the way, so... I... Oh, I can't jump on elevators? Oh yeah, there's a surprising lack of elevators in this game, I noticed. Yeah, so you're gonna have to get used to it. I miss the elevators, though. Oh, this part, huh? And the creepy music destroying of the phase on. Oh, we'll go ahead and scan this. Let's go ahead and go into hyper mode and uh, so. The, whoa, okay, whoa, okay. What's going on? I mean, I know what's going on, but you guys are probably like, what the hell is going on? Oh boy, is things are getting serious. Shoot it out. And then, oh boy, and it, yeah, you automatically get this mechanic, and then, sorry, it, and then it immediately throws you into it. And uh, Phazon used to kill you, but now it can heal you. Oh, uh, yeah. We just received very abnormal readings from your life support systems. Are you okay? As a precaution, we are downloading the diagnostic data from your suit to further analyze the situation. We will contact you again if we have any more information. No, please don't. That's not necessary. <laughs> I don't want any more contact information from the Aurora unit. Why does it take so long to just load one fucking level sometimes? Sometimes it doesn't, but other times it does. It's really annoying. And oh, it's our best boy Rundus! Did you receive your letter for his Smash Bros. invitation yet? I don't... I they never invite. They gave me a second chance to be in Smash, so no. Be all pretty and shit. All right, that didn't do anything. Oh yeah, these chubby-looking motherfuckers. They look. Oh, oh, you, you know what those things suddenly remind me of? They remind me of that one cat. From, has, has anybody ever seen that animated film Fella Day? It, remi it reminds me of uh, that one cat from that movie. It, it, it looks like a mo it looks like a demon. I don't remember what his name is. I, I I'm, I'm stuck. What the hell? What the heck was that? I was what? I mean, come on, you guys saw that? I was free falling, slowly descending for like a second. 
I don't understand what that was about. Is that just an attack? These have a. Uh, And also that that thing where your phase on overloads this is where uh, the phase on uh, the hyper mode gets really abusive oh okay so it's just a, a mechanic that those things do is that they slows you down but yeah the hyper mode uh, it, it can be abused just as long as you don't let it get too high if you let it get too high you get an instant game over but you really shouldn't have to worry too much about that But yeah, I don't think you have to worry too much about that because it doesn't really force. Hey, my chair is sinking. It, it does that sometimes, so no need to worry about that. But it injects the tank, but you can use it for almost indefinitely because it's so e because the hyper mode is so spammable. And it's like you can. Uh, essentially just uh, go into hyper mode let yourself get overlo overloaded and then you can just continuously abuse that and I think after 25 seconds it'll just revert back to normal and you don't lose too much health depending on how much you lose but yeah the hyper mode in this game is really a is that's why I'd say it's more abusive than the uh, that that's why I believe that the hyper mode is more is more powerful than the annihilator beam, because yes, the annihilator beam is broken half, but it is, uh, but its use is finite because it's mostly situational, even though it's like super effective against every enemy in the game, and uh, it wastes ammo, and you have to collect ammo. I mean, yeah. Hyper mode is kind of the same thing, really, but at the same time, it's it's way more abusable. Basically, it deals way more damage, but it holy shit, the damage it deals is ridiculous. It causes some of the bulkiest enemies in the game to just fall apart so fucking fast. And then dogs are going. Do you understand why I hate these animals so fucking much? And Gragnall. Oh, so. That's the adult version. Gee, I wonder what happens if I rip your tail off. Oh, you just go ahead and explode. Go ahead. Enjoy your husband's death. I'm gonna go ahead and just take you down with... It's like, who needs the hyper mode when you can just rip him in half? He's like, hey, you ever, ever heard of Ripley's Believe It or Not? Well, here's Ripley's Rip It Apart. Mmm, such delicious damage. Feck yeah, America. Oh, these things, they were just not supposed to be there. And yeah, you remember those stupid things from uh, Metro Prime 2 that basically served no purpose and also gave inspiration for the most annoying monster in Metroid history? The Spider Guardian. Yeah, well, these things are back. They're Phazons. Hey, come on, go. Let's go ahead and just do that. No, you're not roasting me alive there, Sonny. And the only one who's, who's going to do that is... I, I don't remember where I was going with that. Just go ahead and ignore me. Mm. Yeah, by the time... Uh, next time I play this, you're definitely going to be hearing me uh, talk the fuck out of uh, Sword and Shield because I, that, I, I'm kind of dying to talk about that admittedly. I'm not gonna talk about it because I'm not that much of a douchebag. Like, I can be a real douchebag whenever I want to, but I'm not going to. And also the green la ledges. Those don't it, destroy the pace as much as you think they would. Not so bad. Eh, these things, I don't like this. I don't know why I can't do anything about that, so... Yeah, there we go. Why is that even a mechanic? Like, why? 
Like, I imagine if you tried to do a full-on uh, playthrough where you didn't, where you didn't collect a single energy tank, you would be in for a hell of a ride. All right, so here's the safe station finally. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, in this playthrough, in this play session right now, I'm gonna go ahead and continue this on next time I pick it up. So, anyways, this is fun. Well, I'm glad to be back here. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.